Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Four hours sleep I had last night, I'm absolutely knackered. It is early afternoon, 25 past one. I'll be picking my middle kid up, Mitchell, up in about an hour and a half. So I'm going to have a head and face shave and just get stuck in because I'm just knackered. I need to shave my head every two days, that's what I'm looking at. Barbershop from Stirling. It's pretty cold over here at the moment. I say cold, it's like 18 degrees, but it's pretty darn cold when you've been in 40 degrees for so long. So I'm going to use a warmer scent on both of these, both sterling soaps, both courtesy of the artisanarcade.com over here in Australia. Just a great company, great to work with. Got my brush soaking today for my head shave is my Simog Bonus Club 2012 Special Edition. This one is 50% bore, 50% badger. Takes a long time to break this brush in. It's still, to this day, still got quite a bit of scratch and scratch. Right, let's just use this water from the soap. I have soaked the soap. This is very, very similar to Noble Otto Bar Bar. It's ever so slightly different. It's got something a little, maybe a little bit more vanilla or something, but almost identical in scent. Or should I say Bar Bar is almost identical to this. I think this one's been around for a lot longer from Sterling. Sterling, in terms of the artisan space, they've been around for quite some time now. About 10 years or so, I think, something like that, nine years. Might not seem like much, but given the cutthroat business and how many people are out there doing it, that's a long time for an artisan to still be in business. Just trying to get as much into this brush as I can. It's a 24mm knot, but it's very low loft and it doesn't hold a whole lot of soap, so a lot of the times I do find I've got to sort of really stretch the ladder from it. Right, that'll do me. Just scoop out the excess. Waste knot, one knot, and all that jazz. Give the soap a little rinse in the water, and it should be good to go. Pop it to the side to dry. Now, you can pick up full size soaps from Artisan Arcade. You can get samples, you can get splashes, you can get frost drops, mentally frost drops. They've got everything sterling. The balms, everything. They are taking, I don't know whether they've taken the new shipment in yet, but they've got a new shipment coming in with some scents. I don't know whether they've been requested or whether they were just waiting for them to be made. Just a, just a nice company to deal with, they're really nice people, very responsive. I will be looking to grab some sterling splashes from them, most likely once the COVID-19 thing's passed and I'm back at work working again, earning a better wage. Because at the moment, we're burning through money like nobody's business, paying for all the kids' soccer and dancing and bus fees and train fares and new boots and shoes and trainers and clothes and excursions food electricity water it's amazing really when you're a kid especially when i was younger i wasn't really i wasn't really given that sort of upbringing where this cost this amount this cost this amount you've got to watch how much electricity you use you've got to watch how much water you use when i was younger it wasn't quite as expensive as it is now. And being in Australia, power and electric, no, power, water and gas, way more expensive than they are in the UK. So I get paid more, make wages here, but I pay a lot more out in bills. Way more out in bills. Right, just a little bit more water. God, it's a really nice scent, this. And sterling soaps, the, the soap base is great. Having used now used the sheep bit formula the, with the mutton tallow, I found that far superior actually than this is the beef tallow variant from sterling. I think they've just found it hard to mask the scent in the mutton tallow. I don't know what, what the reason is behind that, but look at that. I mean, that's pretty darn amazing lather.
the young bloke also asked me to give his channel a shout out a couple of days ago and it's I keep telling him to change his channel and try and do something else because he's got a dirty disgusting little puppet and there's all these little mad videos of it but yeah Carl the puppet <laughs> you can find it on my channel as a like page he's only well, he's 12 now but he's I'm just sat waiting for his first comments to come in. Some dickhead to say what the fuck. Because he's a very, very soft kid. It's very emotional. So I'm sort of dreading it. But I suppose. Oh, I've got to grow up eventually, aren't they? Part of growing up is getting criticism, I suppose. Yeah. And you've got to start somewhere. He's thinking outside the box, he's doing something he wants to do. That's the main thing. He's happy as a pig and shit doing it. You're just always trying to protect your kids, that's the only problem. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, oh, you know what razor I'm using, I'm using the leaf razor. This is the fifth use on these Wizomet blades. And they're showing, showing absolutely no signs of slowing down. I've had several people ask me if they're the same as Paul Silver's. I don't honestly know. The only thing I sort of remember about Paul Silver's, I did have a few, was that they were okay blades. I didn't find them great. But it was a long, long time ago when I used them, so... Maybe since then, my technique and maybe the razors I'm using them in just make those blades better, I don't know. But a much-loved blade, the Paul Silver. You get a lot of love in the, in the hobby. As to these Wizomex, So over here in Western Australia, as of the 6th of June, all of the gyms will be reopening. You can play soccer again, do team sports, I think I think it's full contact. Given the, the minute number of people now that are in, in the state with COVID-19, I think the mainstay of or the, pretty much everyone that, that had it in Western Australia had it as a result of a foreign holiday or being on a ship or a cruise line or whatever. We had six new cases come in last week on a boat. But for the best part, Western Australia and Australia as a whole have dealt with it very well. I mean, I know the eastern states have been hit a lot harder than Western Australia. Eastern states do have a much higher population and a much higher density of population as well. So the chances of you of things getting worse over there are obviously going to be higher. I think the full population of Western Australia is about five million. And given that in terms of states, our state's the biggest state in the world, I believe. Dip my hand in the water, get it wet, and then just add a little bit of water on it.
So you can really see that outstanding slickness from Sterling. And how easy the the leaf razor is dealing with it here. What a lovely scent as well. Just a real warm, homely type scent. I do like this one, but I actually think I prefer just ever so slightly noble waters blah blah. I don't know why. They're so so similar, but there's something that I just prefer. You know something, I'm so tired of standing up here and I don't like this. <laughs> My eyes just want to shut the stage shut. Soap left in there. Look at that bad boy. Bad boy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, it looks like it's been a pretty good shave. I don't think I've got too much blood, if any. So the soap for tonight was Sterling Barbershop, courtesy of the Artisan Arcade over here in Australia. The brush was the Simog Owners Club 2012 Special Edition with a 24mm mixed bore badger, 50% bore, 50% badger. Once you break this in it will be, it is a lovely knot, it's got a lot of scrub. This one still has ever so slightly a little bit of scritch but it's just enough to cope. For a head shave I don't notice it. On the face it's still comfortable but I do feel that tiny bit of scritch. The razor was the leaf razor with fifth use was a met blade. And to be fair, I'm really impressed with these blades. And a DE or leaf razor, yeah, I've got one spot in my back, one spot of blood, so I can't really go wrong with that, can I? Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.